Hey guys, Kristen with Love of the Magic Vacations here, and we're going to be talking today quickly, this will be a short one, about what you should be thinking about if you have a Disney trip coming up. Now, in later videos, we will be talking about other companies and what you might want to do if you have a different type of vacation planned, but today we're going to focus just on Disney. We have a lot of people that have Disney's planned for June, and they're kind of wondering, should I keep it, should I not, what's going on? So let's get into the details. Basically, we're all waiting, and when I say all, I mean especially we travel agents, we just want a big announcement from Disney, right? Because at this point, we just want to know, are they gonna be open in June, July, and onward? So, for those of you that have trips planned in June, you know, we're hearing all kinds of stuff about how things are gonna look different at Disney. Are they gonna be socially distancing in line? Are the restaurants gonna be taking less reservations because of social distancing and spacing of patrons? Are we gonna be missing out on fireworks shows, parades, and things that draw big crowds where people stand close together? Are we going to be wearing masks in the park that are mandatory? You know, we're hearing so much stuff, but to be honest, everything we're hearing at this point is still speculation and surmising. We've had everybody from financial analysts to, you know, Disney park aficionados telling us all these things, and it really is good to be thinking about that stuff, and to be honest, I think a lot of it probably is true and it is going to happen, but right now we haven't heard from Disney itself and that's what we're waiting for. I can tell you that right now, Disney is taking reservations starting June 1st. So that may give us a clue right there, but you know, we're also hearing things about them being at half capacity and all that other stuff I just talked about kind of changing your trip. Now I know the last thing any of us want is to show up at Disney, pay all of that money for that huge trip, especially if it's our first time, and not get the full magic of Disney, right? So we kind of want to know, do we need to cancel or not? Well, until we get that real final word from Disney about what the park's going to look like and if it's going to be open in June, we don't know. Now, I can tell you, my gut says that this announcement has to be coming soon because at this point, today is the 5th of May. We've got people that are traveling in less than a month if that park's open and they decide to go and they need to make their decisions. So it's got to be coming in the near future. Um, one good thing about Disney, though, is they are allowing you, instead of making final payments at 30 days, they are giving you up until seven days before your trip to make that final payment. So essentially, you can wait till seven days before travel, you can cancel and get a full refund. That's even if you've paid in full, you can get all of that money back. You just have to make that cancellation before the seven day mark. So that's really helpful because you don't have to decide quite as early. That's especially helpful for those of you with reservations in June. The second thing is, if you decide not to be there in June, you have options, right? You can push back. You can even wait and reschedule for 2021. Now the packages and rates for Disney for next year don't come out until June of this year, which means once we hit June of this year, you'll be able to purchase a package, including tickets, dining, whatever you want for all of 2021 but we can't do that yet. So if you decide to push back before those numbers come out, the most you could push back is into this fall up until December 31st. But if you wanna wait and book into next year, you might wanna think then about going ahead, canceling your current reservation and getting all of that back, and then starting fresh when the new packages come out in June. It's really up to you how you wanna do that. I've had a lot of clients that have gone ahead and booked for this fall. They've pushed out their May and June trips to September, October. And hopefully, you know, we're gonna be looking at a situation that's a lot more normal then, but we'll wait and see. If they need to push out again, they'll be able to, right? Because they don't have to make those final payments until a lot closer to their trip. So really, your options are still there, but until we hear full out from Disney what's their plan and what that park's going to look like when they do reopen, the best thing we can tell you, and we hate having to say this, is just wait it out. Because advice is coming, Situations are going to happen that we're going to be able to say, here's what you should do. But for right now, no one can tell you. Now, if you are just a person who needs to make a plan and make a decision, don't feel bad. You can cancel right now, get your money, and all is good, right? And then you can start fresh when you're ready. So you have that option with no need to worry. But if you are comfortable waiting it out, sitting back a little bit, waiting for that announcement to see how things are going to look, and then making a decision, that's awesome. Contact your travel agent, because I'm sure you used one, because you're smart, and help them have them help you make that decision, because they know all the details, right? 
and they also know the ins and outs of your trip and what you want. If you didn't use a travel agent, well, I think it's safe to say that next time you will, right? Because if you had, you'd have somebody on your side fighting all these battles for you, calling in, asking questions, and interpreting the announcements that come out. Guys, if you like what you're hearing, please like and subscribe. I can't wait to see you next time. And if you have questions, you can reach me at Kristen at lovethemagicvacations.com. Bye, everybody.